guess what? If you go into the Samsung members application and tap benefits and scroll all the way down, one UI beta program for the Z Fold 3 is finally here. I need some coffee. And then, ah, I can't wait to get into this. So if you go ahead and hit register, you can then um, register and then go ahead and um, hit enroll at the bottom. And then after you do that, you're going to need to go into the settings application. And then you are going to need to go to software updates and then download and install. And as you can see, I've just started getting mine downloaded. It's not even finished. I got so excited as soon as I saw that it was finally here. So, ah, yes, it's time to get into one UI 4. I've been waiting on this. It's, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to let it finish. I'm going to play around with it a little bit. And then I will be back to actually show you all some of the features that's inside of one ui 4 for the z fold 3 okay so one of the first things that i want to actually check out that i was excited for was the youtube whenever you're watching a youtube video i wanted to see what it's like when you actually go into the pit view so this video here is the buzz lightyear trailer here and i do like i can see that the corners are rounded and let's see i'm spreading my fingers here and yep you can resize it oh this is so nice so you can resize it which is nice but i love how that takes up the first half of the display here that looks really really nice i haven't rotated my device i'm just holding it in portrait mode right now but this is cool i like this i do see the little widget for headphones here which is nice but you can still tuck this off to the side very cool yeah that's very nice for multitasking really like that one there okay so this pit video for youtube let's see if you double tap it it'll make it small double tap it it'll take it make it uh take up the first half of the screen you can pinch with two fingers to kind of resize it you know whichever way you want it to be here I like how they kind of let you curve it there <laughs> that's kind of cool but yeah a lot of control over the size of your pit videos on YouTube or whatever other application that you're actually watching a, a, a pit video on. So really like that feature there. And I love the rounded look. Now there's supposed to be also the widgets are supposed to be looking a bit more round. So let's go into widget here and let's actually see. So this view looks different. I recalled it looking like this before. So this looks neater. I like it. I do have dark mode on. Let's see, it doesn't matter if I change. Uh, let's see how it looks. Okay, so yeah, just changes the background uh, color. I'm gonna put it back on dark mode because it's still dark out right now. It's only 6.35 in the morning. So yeah, this looks nice. So let's go ahead and pick... Um, so that one's a Samsung calendar. I typically use Google. So these are what the widgets are going to look like here for Google. And again, that rounded look is actually really nice. And I can already tell that the month and today is my favorite one so far. So, well, actually, this first page is my Google page. So let me add you here. Size you. Size you. See in that one. That's my at a glance Google. Put you there. So, so far after you place the widget, I don't see how to. How to resize it. So let me get rid of it and go back into widgets. So the widgets have definitely been updated though, so that you get some pretty nice looking um, rounded ones. That looks pretty. Definitely gonna have my verse of the day and my stuff up here. It's pretty cool. Now that one is two by two for the size. I don't wish I could change the size of it. Oh, okay, I can. I see the image, but I don't see the Bible verse up there. So, but I do like the round look of it. I'm just messing around with the widgets just to show you all. And um, this is the first time that I'm looking at it myself too. So really, I it looks like just with it being rounded. I love the dual clock. I do know that they said during the time of the day, this will change. So that part's nice. So when it's nighttime, it's supposed to be dark. So yeah, this is actually pretty cool. 
I like the widget look. Okay, so let's go into uh, messages. It's supposed to be an emoji thing that you can update. So let's head in there. Okay, so I'm inside of messages and I do have one up. So I'm gonna touch the emoji here. And I do see where you can create your own emojis. Let's go try it out. And, wow, uh, let's see what I want to go with. This one here, so just get a second. Let's do love. Hit next. Uh, so just switch between those. I'm gonna send this to myself to see. Okay, so it just applies the white background, sends it like a little, can't tell if that's a GIF or a video or GIF video. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> Let's go with GIF. All right, but yeah, so, okay. So that's that one there. I kind of like this one too. I guess this one's just a bunch of happiness going on here. It's gonna get interesting. <laughs> I like this one here with the fallen ones here. Probably because that's on airplane mode. This might be a good time to take off airplane mode. And let's see what it looks like for notifications. So let's see. Let me go back to the plus. And I only see where there's two that you can put together. Start fresh. Oh no, maybe these are the ones that you can actually do. I don't see. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go with that one. Eh, I feel like a fool. <laughs> Alright, let's go to send. Looks like that's the emoji keyboard. Not sure if this is new or old, but I think the emoji keyboard is the main thing. I do see by default it turned off my Samsung Keys Cafe. I'm not sure if Good Lock is um, is compatible with this just yet. So let's see about that. I'm gonna see. Can I? I'm gonna. I put the view in standard um, just because I didn't know if other people wanted their faces and stuff to pop up on, on this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to the multi view now. All right, now we're in settings. So it looks like the settings menu still pretty much looks the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back uh, to display, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to screen layout and zoom and put it on uh, multi view. I do feel like uh, for this being a beta, it feels pretty snappy. I mean, the phone always. Okay. Ah, Samsung Pay. That's an issue. So there's one bug is I keep getting Samsung Pay stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings. I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go to apps. Let's see, can I actually Samsung Pay anyway. And I'm hoping that that fixed the problem. Yep, and it did. So again, this is a beta, so you can expect there to be some problems. Luckily, if that's the biggest problem that I'm going to have, <laughs> I'm doing pretty good because I don't use Samsung Pay anyway. I normally use G Pay or just the Google Pay. Ah, okay. So that's what the notifications look like. So let's scroll down and see. It does show you what it looks like here. You can pull it down. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back into um, Good Lock. And now all of that stuff is coming in. So let's go back to, I don't see my, uh, it says unplug, parent update. Uh, okay. So as of right now, once you do the One UI 4 update, um, the Good Lock applications, not all of them are gonna work right now. So 
We'll have to wait until that one actually gets fixed. Let's go into the Galaxy Store. Okay, so this looks pretty much the same. I do love how Samsung adds these videos at the top for our different applications. I think that looks nice. This looks very robust, it's very pretty. So, okay, so there are updates available. But I don't see any for, um, I don't see any for the uh, Good Lock application or for Samsung Keys Cafe. So just something to keep in mind um, that that may happen. I don't know if my notifications coming in late from those texts are part of the beta, like if messages are sent in slow or if... Um, because I'm doing a screen recording. I'm not really sure. I don't think screen recording should have anything to do with it personally. So something that I am gonna be watching more of. So another thing that I wanted to check out was the settings application because you're supposed to be able to see more privacy stuff here. So let's go to privacy. And I like how it shows for the camera, microphone, location. You can see all of the things that's been used um, over the last couple of days here. See. Okay, this is cool. I am doing screen recording, so <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I remember an application, um, I think when it came to iOS 14, maybe there was a company that got in trouble for uh, accessing the clipboard on the iPhone. I can't remember which company it was, but that's show clipboard access kind of reminds me of that privacy feature. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's go to themes here. Let's check out themes. Huh. If this was like this before, I can't remember it, but I don't remember it showing you already the Galaxy theme store right here inside of the settings application. <laughs> like I, I haven't left. Like I have not left the settings application and showing me this. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do the, wow, this is a very cool looking thing, yeah, very creative, I like that one, oh, got off track, um, I'm going to have to see how to do that color change in one where you can actually um, uh, change the color to uh, match whatever thing that you're trying to do, go back to settings, yeah. Yeah, I have to play around with that one because I'm not exactly sure how to do it just yet. Okay, so I just figured it out. So when you're on your home screen, if you press and hold on your home screen and then go to wallpaper and style. I don't know how I missed that earlier, but it's right here on the bottom left. And then I normally would get this where I can see my wallpapers, but the color palette is now uh, something that is new, I believe. I don't know I, I recall this here, so this is pretty cool. I want to change it to this. I think that... Apply palette to app icons. Sure, let's see what it looks like. So a flash there. Okay, I think I do know. I definitely know it's like the phone and the internet is changed now. Let's go back to that and see. I'm going to apply dark mode to wallpaper. Okay. Can't really tell what it did there. I did hear, I did read about it um, supposed to darken the icons and everything. I wanna go back. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off here because I don't actually want that there. I like this one. It's cool. It's cool to do. Let's check this out here. So there's a small delay when you do that. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm gonna have to definitely play around with this. This looks nice. Since the color palette depends on the wallpaper that you choose, I'm gonna go ahead and set this one as wallpaper. 
and wow okay so all of these options here watch face if this was like this before i think this new design just really puts it right in front of your face so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this one as the um home screen let's pull it down i kind of like it about here when you touch it, it kind of <laughs> spreads it a little bit if you're smashing something if you could tell that or not anyways set on home screen oh so after you go ahead and set a wallpaper it's going to automatically let you come here to apply palette to app icon so all right so that's pretty cool let's see I think the yellow looks good okay yeah that does look pretty cool <laughs> i gotta admit that does look pretty neat the yellow and this light brown that is picking out of this wallpaper does make it pop a lot and i'm gonna definitely be applying like a wallpaper like this to my galaxy watch 4 to just kind of have the whole set complete very cool i like this all right so i have a lot to learn about this and then i plan on releasing videos about just all the stuff that you can do right here inside of One UI 4, there's a lot to actually learn and understand about how to use this. So if you're deciding to take the jump, go for it. So far, um, the only issue that I've seen has been the Samsung Pay. I do see a small delay whenever you actually set like the color palette and then go home or something. Um, but that's so far the only issue that I've seen. Love the YouTube pip that I showed you guys earlier and yeah, and the emoji. So we've already kind of got a chance to see three things. The YouTube pip, well no, four. Well, let's see, YouTube pip, the uh, widgets. Also, we got a chance to check out the emoji uh, combos that you can put up, but also the animations with those are pretty neat too. And then this uh, wallpaper color palette change for the app icons. This is another thing that's pretty neat. So, yeah, a whole lot more stuff to get into. Thanks for watching. I'm super excited. And if you decided to go ahead and grab the One UI 4 on your Z Fold 3 or your Galaxy, let us know what other bugs that you've ran into because there might be something that's pretty bad up here that I just don't know because I just got it and I'm excited. <laughs> so if you already know about a major bug or some kind of big issue that's up here on the Z Fold 3, let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you all inside of the next video.